What's going on, everybody? Welcome to uh, welcome to some early uh, early access War of the Spark standard here on MTG Arena. Thank you so much, for Wizards of the Coast, for the invitation. And this is a sponsored video by Wizards of the Coast. Want to make that clear up front. And today we're going to actually be playing. Um, it's a Niv Mizzet Reborn deck that I, I proposed last week in a CoolStuffInc.com article, where you can use promo code Frank Five to get five percent off all your purchases. Uh, and we're putting it together right now. And uh, I was saying that the mana base is probably terrible. I have no idea. We shall see. But uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a try because we can probably do some pretty grotesque things. This is 58 cards. Um, we're missing. Oh, we're missing all the other lands. Like Glacial Fortress. What's the wording on here? Enters the battlefield tapped unless. I just want to take chunks of these um, so that they can all show up at once. <clears throat> Easy way to search for these. Uh, Dragon Skull Summit 1. Isolated Chapel 1. Drowned Catacomb 1. Root Mountain Crag 1. Uh, Sulphur Falls, Sun Petal, and Woodland Cemetery. Woodland Cemetery, Sun Petal Grove, and Sulphur Falls 1. Then we have two Glacial Fortresses. And that's pretty much it, I think. That's 25 lands. Then we have one extra slot. And I was thinking there was a couple extra. There was a couple things we could play in the one extra slot. Here are 100 grotesque things bits. Act 2 Exodus. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so... We're going to add one extra card. I, I, I kind of wanted the... Uh, Wait, hold on. So how come <laughs> now I enter God Eternal with no hyphen and they all show up except for the red one? How come How come the Raise Boar has a different naming convention? That's interesting. Also, how come it's not Hazaret? This is all very interesting to me. I'm learning lots of things right now. We have very little red though. Red is not our Man, I don't know the I don't know the lore well enough. I guess <clears throat> that's my that's my whole issue. Oh, Hazard's still alive, so I guess it can't be. Uh... <clears throat> so I'm tempted to play this because it lets us put in uh, Niv Mizzet from our hand. I'm gonna just try it. What's the worst that could happen, right? And I'm going to export this, and then I'm going to add it to a thing, and then I'm going to make sure people can see it on the old. Uh, <clears throat> as new war. So, save that guy. A boom. And I'm going to put it on the stream decker, which we haven't used in a while because we haven't played standard since the cube has been up, because that's just the way it works. I'm sorry, if you're going to give me a cube at the tail end of a, uh, on the tail end of, of a standard format and a draft format, then, like, you'll be in some bad times. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's funny. It's not even, it's not even showing the new creatures. It's not showing Niv-Mizzet or any of the new cards in the, uh, in stream decker, so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to play it by ear, guys. <clears throat> First, you'll need to choose. You can change your deck before each game. Okay. Well. Yeah, this is not my account. This is uh this is a a wizard's a wizard supplied account. I don't want to play against this though. Um, I don't know how to skip this. Uh huh. I don't I don't think I don't think they stand a chance, I'll be honest. I'm just gonna play it. I don't know how to I I don't know how you went to practice, not play. Okay. That's good to know. <clears throat> I couldn't deal with the Daybreak Chapel on turn two anyway. I don't know what this is. Is this new? I haven't seen this in the regular version. Is this new? Am I just like have has me not playing arena for a week and a half? Uh <clears throat> uh, 
Well, I guess I can't be... I guess I can't be spoiling things because... You know, I was given this account. Oh, it's new, but for new accounts. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, this hand has everything we want. Steam Vents makes Glacial Fortress come to play on tap, so we can, we can start with Woodland Cemetery into Steam Vents into Glacial Fortress. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh, uh, Temple Garden's even better. Everything is terrible. 13 months. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. I got you five bucks. You did. Wow. I got you the gift of entertainment. I hope it's good enough. Oh, man. This is Wolf City over here. Uh, I think we just go Steam Vents, and that should allow most of the lands we have to come into play untapped. I, I can't imagine a land that actually doesn't. I don't think there would, would exist one, right? Because every land is going to share one of these two colors, unless it's, like, literally just a Swamp Swamp. Yeah, so this is nice. This is a lot of incubation birds. Where's my, where's my time wipe? Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Alright, well, I hope we don't die here. That's my, that's my hope. Scala! Remember when we remember when, the, remember when someone played this against us in modern? And we were like, wait, what's going on here? Pollen Bright Druid. When it enters the battlefield, choose one, put a counter or proliferate. Proliferate could be pretty interesting. But there are no counters, right? This guy had a counter? How did you get a counter? Oh, they put a counter on it. They didn't proliferate onto it. That's that's right. Um, they have one card in hand, so we can just go Razy McBorton. And then if we top deck a Newton, is it? Oh my god. Well, I imagine they didn't put a counter on Drew because they have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana already. I don't think they need eight, nine mana. And putting a counter on it means they can't make it three, a three, five later. So that's actually probably worse. Big only mode chat. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good boy. All right, well, let's do the thing. Uh, give it a 1-1 one -one counter, because it doesn't need haste. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Does he have trample? No. So I should have killed this pre-combat, is what you're saying. It's a problem free philosophy. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Oh my god. I think even if you put the Knight of Autumn into play, but I mean, the Knight of Autumn is just going to get blocked pretty easily, so that it doesn't really. I just got to work. It's 1118 here. I have an email from Twitch saying you went live. The email stamped 1148. Time traveler? Yes. You did the thing. Well, I did do part of the thing. We are playing that Niv deck. That Niv deck, though. I'll choose this one again. I'll put a counter on it. I'll fight one of these guys. Wow. Ilharg the Raised Boar with Ravager Worm is a pretty nuts. This is a crazy interaction. I don't even know what to do about it. Let's not go to blocks. Because I want an Assassin's Trophy. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, it's too late, I guess. I keep, like... I don't have a... I don't know how to st set it to, like, a... So that it, like, lets us do the thing. I really... I mean, I feel like they'd be dead if they were... You know, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to enter full control mode, though. I just want to have that one particular thing. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Leave my territory, or I'll 
Bullrack Sloop Slurker, Slurper, welcome back. Thank you so much for the reset. I really appreciate it. Disc Golfer, thank you so much. I didn't even see that. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Pass. I don't know how anyone beats an Ilharg, Ilharg with a Ravager Worm in hand. This is pretty brutal. Give me a Niv-Miz at one time. Oh, enter the God Eternals. Hmm. Uh, wait, what is the options? Target a player. You're going to be milling. Select a player, and yeah, we'll just go face with all these guys. Boom, 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 boom. Got him. We have eaten so many incubation druids. <clears throat> Why haven't we eaten the druid yet? We've eaten, we've eaten multiple druids. Plus, we have the zombie army. The funny thing is, there's only these are both only one ofs, so we just happen to get this sweetness. My pack. Our mana base is also just chef's kiss. I'm gonna I'm gonna alpha here. Oh, internet is down to zero. Good stuff. Great stuff, you might say. Twenty-two to twenty. Okay. Uh, next, all attackers go to your face. Uh, put this dude into play again. Attack your face. Kill this guy. <clears throat> okay, and here it goes back up at two twenty. Well, we should be back. Claim my prize. Wow. What's this? There's new cards in every direction. How do I skip but this? Which path to choose? Ooh, more quests. You'll get another one every day. Every day. Godless Shrine of the Tomb, Hero into a Lantern. Sure. Thank you. Man of War Elves, thanks so much for the resub. I love the content. Happy Chicken Sunday. Happy Chicken Sunday, my dude. Temple Garden's nice because now it lets us play Rootbound Crag uh, and not take damage for the hero. Hakuna Matata. Means no worries for the rest of your days. <clears throat> this mana base has been okay so far. I'm actually surprised we haven't had any issues. I think the reason is because they're all two color spells, so you only need one of each color. Nothing's like double red and a green, which is actually pretty pretty problematic. But um Yeah. You're tapped out. Alright. 
This is a 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, we'll block. Sure. Alright, I don't think we have two of those. We're definitely playing Knight of Autumn here and killing that thing, though. Uh, let's get a Watery Grave out. It gives us access to all the colors, I believe. All the rest of your days. Uh, two white, two, and double of any color is harder to get than single of any color. That's just, that's just factual. Well, it goes back into their library, right? It's a May ability. They could not do that. They did it. Every day is chicken Sunday. Any new cards I'm excited for for more of the spark? You are looking at them right now. Duels are for Let's just this is a Niv Mizzet Reborn deck. We have yet to draw Niv Mizzet Reborn, but he's in here. I assure you, he's in here. Gonna hurt when this is through. Where am I? Fascinating. Yeah, so if you block here, we lose a Knight of Autumn, but we kill a Domri, and that's okay. Yeah, my, what I like about Magic Online is that, like, if you didn't see the decklist, I can just I can just tab over to the decklist. Um, whereas here, you cannot do that. Oh, they didn't even actually eat our, our Knight of Autumn. That's fascinating. Fascinating. Y'all got any more of them chicken Sundays? Oh, Ronus. Rony boy. Oh, another 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 chromatic lantern, huh? So wait, what is this? When when it enters the battlefield <laughs> So this is like this is a this is a two three for just a brief moment. So if we attacked with everything, they can block here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six. They go to seven. I mean, it doesn't seem great. Hostage taker might be worse because of the gods, but it still gets rid of any other creature. So they still have Ilharg in hand. A Domri instead of an Ilharg. Huh? Interesting. You think I'm crazy. Wait till you see my mates. Uh, I think they... Well, Sealed is limited. Uh, so I, I think you mean Sealed and Draft. Uh, sealed, I believe they did. Draft is not up now. Whatever happens next. All right, well. Five? I'm probably just gonna block. You don't have Trample, right? Come on, Niv Mizzet Reborn, one time. That's a Godless Shrine. We wanna play as many lands as we can because we wanna be able to, uh, so if we go, I think Domri goes to one at this point. Maybe we shouldn't have blocked. Um, we want to play, keep playing lands because if we hit Niv Mizzet, we want to be able to play as many things as we can off of those lands. Illahard doesn't have trample. I think this is fine. I, I, I do want to put this to one at the very least. Uh, this is the deck for my Arclight. I took out one Tefri for one Illahard. Wow, they're not. They just don't block the. 
They're just like, I'll never block with my Druid of the Cal, even though you have a 2 1. I don't understand it, but. They've drawn four lands. We've drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Essentially 11. Um, <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. That's good. Everything's going into play. No attacks. All right. I don't have any cards in hand. I don't know why they'd be afraid of that. It's hard to be afraid of a shock when they see you have no cards in hand. That seems like an interesting thing to do. A Llanowar Elf. I mean, it's probably just better to block the 1-3 than the 1-1, one, one, I guess. Uh, I mean, this is my second second game with the new cards, so it's hard to say off the bat, but... Does this guy have Trample? What? How did we get down to 1? Do we not block either? Does this guy have Trample? Just leave me alone. Ah, uh, yeah, so we just blocked the wrong one then. Each sure. One it would have been real sad if we drew Niv Miserable in the next turn, though. Wow, I just blocked the wrong one. So we took five from that guy, and instead we should have just taken six. And so we took five from Ronus and five from Ilharg. So we took ten. Where if we blocked Ronus, we only would take six, went to four. But I think we would have still been dead, right? Um, this is rough. We have double growth spiral, so I can actually keep this. We have the black for Seraph. Seraph, this, both of these come into play because of Breeding Pool, so. Oh, uh, we were probably not going to Sealed. I, I don't really... Maybe we'll do a Sealed, actually. Maybe. It's like practice for the pre-release, right? Oh, what up, kitty cat? Oh, this is nice. This is. Thank you. Uh, let's get a sulfur falls. Play a rootbound crag, and then we still have a gross spiral. So as long as we can hit a white source here, I think we're good to go. Probably Jang. Yeah, I think this is Rob we're playing against. This is Swole Mike. It's not. Nerd Garson, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, Charm Stray Dot deck over here. Everybody plays kitty cat. Listen. Give me a white source. That's a white card. That's not really the same. All cats sound the same. They all go... They all sound the same in this game. <clears throat> Mow. I wish I could replace the uh, the sound effects. Then when you play a charm strike, it goes... Mow. That would be ideal. Okay, well... I really hate fighting a little cat here. This just makes me feel bad. But... That's what you gotta do. They drew three charm sprays? That's a lot. We're playing in the lower tiers, uh, for those watching on either YouTube or Twitch, but, um, 
It's worth noting that one of the things we want to do is figure out how the deck is working, like the mana base. Oh, now we draw this. We literally can't play any cards because we have white sources. But white is one of the highest represented uh, numbers in our deck. <clears throat> so it should be it should be forthcoming. Um, one of the things you want to do is make sure the mana base works, make sure the cards are strong enough, make sure there's interactions, there's inherent synergies within the deck. So you don't actually necessarily need to play against a million tier one decks to know how your deck fares. Um, because a lot of times you're not going to be playing against back-to-back -back tier 1 decks. So most of the time you want to just make sure there's no glaring flaws with your deck when you're testing. Especially if you just put it together. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay. They got their own stray back. That's great. So now if we kill this, they get their stray back. Okay, that's not, that's not what we're looking for. I appreciate it. It's not... So last game we had a problem where we drew like 15 mana sources and no Niv-Mizzet. This game we draw Niv-Mizzet and no white sources. Which seems rare. I think there's like 10 white sources in the deck. I'm going to check right now. Free find folks at home. Yep. Get rid of Ravager Room, perhaps? Get rid of Hostage Digger. That seems short-sighted. Like, I mean, I know it's small. I know it's the, the creature that's in the way right now, but... There we go. Oh, reveal them. We're going to hit uh, Thief of Sanity, Mortify, and then probably Find Finality. Because that wipes their board and keeps our both our Niv-Mizzet and our Ravager. So, yeah, we drew three. That's pretty cool. That's pretty okay. And no attacks here. I feel like the average should be three. Like with the with the with the consecrate the, the concentration of uh, of cards we put in the deck. Like I'm making this up. I don't actually know factually if the average is three or not. But it feels like three is a reasonable number to draw given the number of cards that we put into the deck. There oh there's thirteen white sources in the deck. No eleven white sources. Eleven white sources. Ixalan's binding. I gotta mortify. <gasps> We're gonna mortify the Ixalan's Binding and just get our dude back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we hit a land, we can actually do both of these. That's 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 strong. Yeah, or Knight of Autumn, I guess. I guess either of those work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, well, we didn't hit a land, but that's okay. I still just kind of want to find finality here. If there was a Dryad Arbor that was like <laughs> two colors, yeah. Oh man, Niv Misery Born was OP, dude. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever done in Magic the Gathering. We have two white sources, which is super great now. So we can go Hero into Knight of Autumn. Select a Teferi and enter the God Eternals and Assassin's Trophy and a Justice Strike. Seems okay. Yeah, we'll just play Thief of Sanity because we have to play something here. Um, no, no attacks.
The baby fucks you in the Listen, baby. Oh, don't even take the Niv Mizzet. That's just asking for trouble. Oh my god. Why would you do this? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we're doing some pretty sweet things here. Not testing you, just figured it's time for a shill for me. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, this is just a wizard's given account, so I do not get to keep these 202,000 gems. But, um, you know. We're having a good time. Well, you guys have seen the two games I've played so far, so it's hard to say which cards I've been most impressed with. Based on that match, Niv-Mizzet for sure. It drew us three cards and four cards, and they were all good cards. You're not just drawing, like, two lands and a hero of Pre-Saint Pre -Saint 1. You're drawing, like, powerful multicolor spells. Um... Hand's a little slow because of the, ta the coming to play tap, but it's also pretty good. Also, if we draw like a hollowed fountain, I guess it's only hollowed fountain, but still, the still hand's still pretty fine. I think we're also on the draw, so. Monsonster, welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 20 months in a row. Or 20 months total, I guess. Um, Sulfur Falls lets us play Thief of Sanity and Justice Strike. That's the overlap there. If Mana Fixing Rock might help this... I mean, we have four Chromatic Lanterns, so... I hope they do, because that's the whole point of them. Psycho D, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. What is this guy? Enters Battlefield Tapped. It's the guy who can get back zombies with. Plus, these are both white, so if we get any sort of white shock land, uh, we can play either one of these untapped. So, those are both good reasons to play the Sulfur Falls first. Yep. Take my sword here. Oh, a drowned kitty cat combs. I'm actually just going to kill one of these guys. Uh, whenever it attacks, you're going to pay three. It goes back to the hand, so that's fine. Um, what's our plan next turn? Thief of Sanity? We're going to have a black and a blue. We probably just want a green source on the board in case we draw. I mean, we're in, we're in a situation where, like, if we draw a lot of... There's a lot of fetch... A lot of uh, shock lands we could draw here to, to play a Niv-Mizzet on five. I mean, we could play a Time Wipe. I wasn't sure how necessary it would be, especially because most of the deck is removal. I did like the idea because you can bounce your own Niv Mizzet and wipe the board. This is a Liliana you do not see very much. If at least one of them is a zombie, one of them is. Hollowed Fountain is nice. It also lets Drowned Catacomb come into play untapped. Uh, neg where X is the number of zombies you control, so Neg 1, Neg 1. We could also Hostage Taker this. Wow, next time we get to Niv, that's pretty sick, right? Red, green, black, white, blue. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I just want to get the zombie off the board. Especially when they have zombies in their graveyard. That's a Liliana that exists. That is true. Yeah, for all the sponsored early access streamers, you get your own... Uh, I, you get your own account with um, all of the cards available. Oh, this is great. I really like what's happening here. I value moral flexibility. Alright, we're basically dead, so we want to not die. That's what I want to do. So 
So we're gonna take two from Lilian and hope we don't have a different. Hope it's not a, uh, let's take a Vraska, a Bedevil, and a Gross Spiral. And let's say no attacks. Will you be sad when you don't have the cards? No, I'll just buy them. I mean, I play Magic for a living, so like, when I have to buy things like Arena cards or Magic Online cards, I don't really sweat it. I and I just write it off on my taxes, so. Definitely cost of business, like literal for, for real cost of business. Okay, now we want fine finality. This deck is sweet. Hmm. It's a write-off for them? For sure. I can't do my job without them, right? So, uh... That's an obscure Seinfeld quote. I don't even know. I don't even know the uh, the episode that would be from. I'm gonna block here. I don't feel good about this. I wonder if we want like a law. We, I think we want like one law mage's binding. Three four fours, huh? That's pretty good. I wonder if Niv was greedy and maybe we should have just exiled the the Oketra. I think that probably would have saved us. But I'm also at a point in uh, in playing right now where I just want to do the cool stuff, not necessarily the uh, the correct stuff. So maybe that's incorrect. It's definitely incorrect. Uh, oh, good. We're roping here. Boy, we roping. I think we're dead. Uh, I don't really foresee a way to deal with... Like, we have to deal with, what, three of these? If any two get through, yeah, we're just dead. I'll claim my prize, for sure. Alright, let's actually try this with one Law Mage's Binding in it. Because I feel like it's real good against those gods. Take out one hostage taker. One law mage is binding. Any cards that were not impressive so far? Everything else seems good. Seraph of the Scales is kind of meh. I mean, she's good. Huh. I don't want, like, Kaya's uh, judgment. What's that called? What's the card called? Kaya something? I don't think we want that, because... Yeah, they can just tuck their god into the library when it gets hit by... Uh, Sarava the Scales, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. I can't hear it, but I can watch it. Good luck. Wish there was a closed captioning, but I do not see it. I don't think there is. Uh, Niv is enter the battlefield. We could we could kneel for, but I don't think we have nearly enough four drops. We have Sarav and we have Hostage Taker. I think those are the only two. Oh, McGimp, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, Michael. Michael! Uh, creatures, we have four drops. Uh, yep, those are the only four drops we have. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a little it's a little painful, but did you get my text? Oh I just did I just yeah, there's like a bunch of them. Hold on. Let me uh I'll get back to you I'll get back to you tonight. I uh I have been a little busy. 
Uh, I'm I've been pre- I'm preparing for uh, I'm going to a pre-release this weekend in uh, in Logan, Utah, and uh, I was invited to do that. So I've been preparing for that, not preparing for the pre-release, but making sure everything is ready to go. Like I want to make sure I get my article done. I wanted to make sure I had enough videos uploaded, things like that. So. Yes, I do live in Florida. Hence why it's a trip and not just, uh, not, that, that's why I have to make it a big deal of it. <laughs> um, yeah, we should have played around, we should have played towards Grow Spiral there. We could have played one of these instead. I played this because we both, both colors for Justice Strike, so if we want a Justice Strike, then we can, we have a better choice. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, we actually could have Wilderness Reclamation that. I think that would have been strong. I feel like I do live in Florida. Like, Florida's just home base. I just have to... This is just where I keep my stuff. Logan, Utah. That's where Wolverine lives. I, I get that now. That's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty funny. What does this do? A 4-4 four, four can't be blocked by more than one creature. That's still pretty big. I kind of just want to kill this, I'll be honest with you. Whenever it is dealt damage... Eh, the thing... Don't frill mystic me, bro. Are you going to frill mystic me? Have you ever considered hiring an intern for the summer? I can come down to Florida. I don't think so. What is this? What's the wording on this? Well, hope you don't have trample. You don't. Okay. Um, you may cast the card. Oh, I can't. I can't just. Ta I can't just play it. That's dumb. I was hoping I could get this, then play a land. That'd be super sweet. Okay, you're moving you're moving a little fast for me right now, buddy. You're moving a little fast for me. I'm pretty sure we want to exile this nonetheless. We can actually justice strike this. Play hero. We could go hero and justice strike. That actually seems good. And then we can temple garden, which sets us up nicely for We could Teferi this. Take seven. We would probably take four because I think they're gonna go to uh they probably just kill Teferi. I don't think we're playing any five drops. I think we're just gonna go here up precinct one. And we're doing it now because they're playing blue green. So I don't want them to have any counter spells. I think that's reasonable. It could be Simic Ascendancy. Hydros right now. Hmm. <laughs> we could play Hero Grow Spiral. I don't hate that. Hopefully, we'll hit a land. Oh, we did it. I'm gonna say no attacks. I'm just not not feeling aggressive right now. We could have attacked because we're probably not gonna block with the hero, but thank God this guy doesn't have trample. One, two, three, four, one, two. We can play Vraska. Makes two guys, kills one of these dudes. We'll probably have to we we'll probably have to get rid of this Hydroid Crassus at some point. We can also chump block. We can also just play Niv Mizzet block everything. We're probably gonna do that. Let's see what we get. 
Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, look at this animation. That's sick. Uh, I'm going to say one attack. I'll attack with one. I'm feeling a little bit spicy today. A little bit spicy. Alright, so we just basically refill our hand with cool shit. That's how Niv Mizzet works. Who are they attacking with? Just that 6-6? Six, six? Alright, you got it. Unless these dudes start trampling. Oh boy. Oh wow, that's an insane number of counters. Oh, that's it? I, would, I was expecting way more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. I feel like we just go Vraska here, make two guys kill this thing. And this guy does have trample, so uh, definitely in my best interest to kill it. I would like to keep up Dovin's Veto, but I don't think going to six is ideal. Elk Tears, what's going on, my dude? You have been missed, my friend. Look at the top three cards and reveal a permanent card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library. You gain three life. Sure. You got it. You got it. How many cards are in here? Six? Alright, so you can flip that next turn if you'd like. Just that guy, huh? Well, I'll block again. Thankfully, we have a lot of ways to just deal with these cards. Like, we can play Teferi, make two guys again next turn, tuck this guy. You know how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually go Teferi, Mortify. My crew is the finest in the seas. I know my responsibility. Let's take it back. I feel like we got home. I feel like we're way ahead now. I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Give me this thing for future use later. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little on will I know. Right now you can't tell. Make your captain proud. Do it, make your captain proud. But stay a while, maybe then we'll see a different side of me. What was that, Matchbox 20? Resolve. End the turn. Untap. Two boys. Awakening of V2 Gruzy. Veto! Don't be trying to sneak in no 9-9. Nine nine. Chromatic Lantern's great because I can just play the spell and not have to worry about what lands get tapped. That's all I want. That's a big boy. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. 
Not done yet. Bro, attack at will. Negative 20. Uh, do you think this is a good deck to ladder with or just a fun deck to play? I have no idea yet. I I'm having a good time playing it. And that that's important. I don't see any changes I wanted to make after that. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell, I know right now, you can't tell. Oh, this hand's great. Temple into Isolated Chapel, and then this niv is coming down the pipe. I was in Florida with my kids for spring break, I was thinking of going to niche fast food places to try and run into you guys. Wow, that would be... I don't go to many fast food places, so... Don't worry, my link isn't a song. Oh lord. I'm not going to watch it because they're going to demonetize me, but I did open it, so. And I know it's an always selling reference, so that's good enough. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's turn four Niv. Oh, that's a turn four Nivels. Joke's on you, we have our Hungry Howie's delivered. <laughs> okay, I see what we're doing here. Oh, I see what we're doing, eh? Uh, let's play Blood Crypt and this guy. I'm gonna say no attacks. What's your favorite cuisine? Uh, it's probably Italian, followed by Mexican. But if I can get Thai food made vegetarian without fish sauce or oyster sauce, that goes very high up. It's just so hard to find it. Oh, wow. Oh, biscuits. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. Right now you can't tell. Draw three cards and maybe then you'll see a different Teferi, a thief of sanity. <laughs> yeah, so Niv is basically uh, drawing three. That's that's about the average, and I think that's just fine. Because unlike a, a Mull Drifter for 5 mana that draws you 2, you're getting a 6-6 six, six out of this. And all the cards are 6 spells, unlike uh, lands. Not to say lands aren't 6 spells, but, you know. What does this one do? Oh my god. Are they gonna get the new? Oh god, don't oh god, don't do that. Oh, I'm so sorry. A different side of me. We're going to actually do this on their turn if we do it at all, because I don't really want to have it countered. I bet they have Dovins. Dovins, McMovins. But, like, we still get... We still get, uh... We still get Token Boys. So that's good. Oh, boy. 4 slash 23. And we're looking at... 3... 05 p.m. 
Difference in me and my crew. Wow! Dovin's Veto, Enter the God Colonel's Seraph, Knight, and Assassin's Trophy. We get all five of these. That's pretty insane. I hope you guys were able to see that because that was pretty ridiculous. If you guys are watching the video on YouTube, you will have definitely seen that. A different side of me. I'm not a crazy. I'm just a little unwell. I know. All right, so I think we're settling back down to 307. Yep. All right. What did they take? Assassin's trophy? Sure. Oh boy, we are doing very, very well here. One, two, three, four. I wish we had more lands, though. We have six mana. So we'll have to discard four cards. We're definitely playing the... Actually, Enter the God Eternals could be good here. We Steam Vents, play Enter the God Eternals. We have to discard two cards, which I think is fine. Yeah, I think we do want to kill that guy. Uh, target a creature, target a player. Discard two cards, huh? Um, guess we could probably discard a Niv. Let's discard Thief of Sanity and Niv Mizzet at this point. I mean, we have seven cards. They're all spells. Like, what are you going to do? If you want to tuck this guy, I think, uh, I think that's just fine. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Yep. So wow, you're gonna let me redraw Niv, huh? Well, our hand is seven cards. They have one card. That's pretty crazy. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. We can actually hostage taker the kite sail freebooter, play the kite sail freebooter, and see what their last card is. <sighs> we have a lot of options. Uh, we can also law mages binding plus knight of autumn. I don't think that does anything. We could ser seraph of the scales and keep up like assassins. We can. I I'm pretty sure we're assassins trophying um, the niv mizzet. In which case, we're probably just gonna play. Seraph. See, the nice thing about Hero Pre Saint 1 is that the more cards you draw, the more creatures you're going to get. So we have 9 to there to less than 9. No attacks. We're still good. We can still, we can still hold back. I feel like I'm way oversaturated here. I look almost red. That seems healthier. You, there's nothing you could take that actually. This is a great position to be in because when they thought erasure, you're like, sure. I mean, they probably take Tefri. Tefri feels like one of the strongest cards in the hand. Maybe, uh, maybe Dovin's. No, maybe Vraska. It doesn't like when I can't even figure out what what card is the most powerful card in my hand. It's feels pretty good.
more lands, the better. One, two, three, four, five. You have a hollowed fountain in hand. This doesn't feel bad. You can hold these guys back. <laughs> this is actually totally fine. Well, Niv is... A, yeah, here's the thing. Niv is no longer is it, buddy. He's everything. Let's clear off the board just a little bit. This seems much better. And we know they have Hollow Fountain and one random card, and we're going to draw Niv Mizzet next turn and draw like a thousand cards again. This seems good. His name is still on the guild. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I guess that's true. Uh, I guess that's fair. What does this guy do? What does this rare song do? As long as it's your turn, creatures and planeswalkers have lifelink. That's good. Soren get, deals one to target player or planeswalker. Okay. Return a card with converted mana cost. Creature with X, uh, with cost X or less. That's good, but come on. Oh, they got rid of our tokens. That's gas. That's well done. Well done. Really? We're attacking here, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Huh? Is this... Like, they have no cards in hand, right? Like, what am I missing? What am I Niv missing? They only have Hollowed Fountain. Oh, they just wanted the lifelink? Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Oh, because they were at 6, and we have a 4, 3, and a 1, 2. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. I I get it. I understand. Seems good. Growth. Serenity. Ravagey. Draw 3. Well, we're hoping for a land there, but... Uh, go for you. Go for you. Make sure this guy dies. He's... He's very strong. God, we even discard. Baywaxer, this is the list I wrote about in the article. Let's get rid of... I don't know, Justice Strike seems pretty meh. I mean, it'll be able to kill a hero of Precinct 1, but that doesn't seem super exciting. And maybe then you'll see... A different side of me, I'm not a crazy, I'm just a little unwell. So if we can just get rid of this guy. We can just win. Got him! 
Well, statistically speaking, the five draw was a little bit of an outlier, but nonetheless, it's still going to happen from time to time, right? So. You have enough gold for a booster. Let's go get one from the store. They should really get rid of these while we're in. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna I wanna play like probably one or two more with this deck and then we'll switch decks. Cause this deck is sweet. You've got enough gold for a booster. Get your booster, please! I'm sorry, I didn't get my booster. hand is pretty bad. This is actually, though, it might be our first mulligan. Oh, wow, we mulligan to six. That's interesting. And we're scrying? No new rule, huh? I'm gonna put this on the bottom, because we already have five mana sources, so. Are we on the play or the draw? Opponent's turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is actually pretty sweet. We can play an Ilharg. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to mill us. Oh, they're milling themselves. That's aggressive. Narco Amoeba, huh? There's a Rel combo deck. I don't know what to do with. I don't know what to do against that. How do I? How do I? How do I deal with it? How do I deal? Oh, they're gonna mill themselves and then jace themselves. That's pretty interesting. Oh, it's just dredge and standard. That's pretty weird. We can figure a way out of this. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little ill hog. I know you don't know you But stay a while, maybe then you'll pig. So Jace goes to six, but then we have two six six boys. So hopefully they don't manage to deal with this. That would be really sad. Let's try this. Arc light Phoenix, huh? How many cards? 32. They're quite a, they're quite a bit of ways. I feel like getting turn two, turn three drowned secrets is pretty good though. What are they copying? So they didn't, they basically didn't do anything, which is fine. I guess they could block you know then then Niv Mizzet kills their stupid Jace. <sighs> now it does not. That was obnoxious. Oh. Well then. <laughs> All right, let's get a Knight of Autumn, uh, Justice Strike, and into the Gods, a uh, Teferi, a... an Assassin's Trophy, because that's the cheapest one. 
Another fiver. How many Jaces are in their graveyard? One. Yeah, this deck seems like it's going to be obnoxious. Your victory is just an illusion. And they have 30,000 cards in their hand. Oh my god, Arclight Phoenix is not a card I enjoy playing against. Difference, I don't mean I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell, I know where I know you can fit. Actually, I have no idea what the play is here, and they're gonna. 3, 4, 5. Like, we get Trophy Justice Strike in combat. One, two, three, four. Is there anything else we can do? We can play this guy, but I really don't want to... I, I, or I'm going gonna to play this, but I don't want it to come into play. I definitely want to take the damage from that. Could gain four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a little scary. I kind of just want to keep up... Uh... Could Hostage take her? That feels bad, though. I think I'll just move. And then we can keep up. Uh, not Nimbus, it out. Uh, Thief of Sanity here. And we can keep up Justice Strike and Assassin's Trophy. Uh, let's discard. Hero. I don't think Hero's going to be very relevant in this matchup. Or in this particular situation. left. Can we kill them with Enter the God Eternals if they don't know they're gonna... Six cards left. I think we just... Did we just win? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's block here. Oh, we hit a one? That's our lowest nib. I don't think it matters. It's still a free card. Well, different side of me. I'm not crazy. I'm just gonna die in my upkeep. Unless you can deal five to me during your upkeep. Okay, a bold strategy, Cotton. A bold strategy. I'm just gonna build my entire deck. I think that's how this works. I don't know. Come open your new booster pack. A boosty. All right, so this deck has been pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, it, it's it's not the most consistent, maybe, but it's pretty good. Like I, I've been enjoying it, and I think our, I think. Uh, Oh, Craig Mack, good game, good game. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I had all the things I needed to mill in my hand. Yeah, that is uh, that is definitely a downside of the old... Uh, the old mill deck. I'll probably go Temple Garden on two. Uh-oh. Oh, man, if they go... I guess if they go Johnny Pryor, we can just kill it. 
I really want to ramp them on turn two. That's fine. We're gonna go thief of, thief of sanity. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Comes to play untapped, we can play. Yeah, we're just gonna play thief here. Make a 1 1, gain a life. Sounds good. Sounds good. Wow, that's rude. That was very rude. Did not appreciate it. So this becomes a 2 2, which I don't really care about. Not gonna just this strike it. Maybe I will, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna hostage take her this. Oh, this deck has been a blast. I don't know what the next deck is, and I don't know how it can, how we compete with it, because I just want to be casting Niv Mizzets all day. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or actually build yeah, that's fine. This is a lot of artifacts. Or uh, enchantments rather. Okay, that one's problematic. I'm gonna trophy the Dawn of Hope because that that is definitely the most uh, the most oppressive of the enchantments. This one I don't care about. These are just basically opposites. Can't cast Worm. We can still cast Lightning Strike. Just a strike. Seems good. Uh, put you into play. Enters tap. Play for free. And then next turn we have Green, Green, Red. So we can cast Ravager Worm. So I don't think we're going to be killing this. We'll probably just take three here. I kind of want to kill this now. But then again, we just get to... Because they, they're going to draw a card if we wait. Plus, I don't foresee us having another Justice Strike target in the near future. Fashionably late to the party, I see. We can't fight anything. We can't destroy any lands. Man. I guess we just play this. It feels bad, man. Niv Mizzo would be nice. The army gains life like when it's a 6 6, but this gains them a life when it dies. This gains them a life when it comes into play, so they can just pay 2 and draw every time. So that's pretty, it's pretty unfortunate. This is a lot of life triggers, and this is a lot of lands that are. Uh, Let's go haste. Yeah, they're gonna draw one card. Yeah, Dawn of Hope is the, the card that's really putting this over the top. Like, I don't care if you gain three lives a turn, I just don't want you to draw three cards a turn. One step forward, two steps back. One, two, three, two, three. Stop cast outing my things. No, well, that's unimpressive. If we, if we haven't drawn any Niv Mizzet Reborns and we haven't drawn any Hero of Precinct ones, which you have eight of in the deck, um, a lot of our cards seem to fall a little bit flat because we just don't have anything to really. I just remembered that I created a meme email address for Mike B a long time ago. I haven't been checking it. Do you remember what it was? It was something like chicken sunday123 at yahoo.com. I don't actually remember that. That's hilarious, though. Um, I don't foresee myself playing on the Pro Tour anytime soon. Like, I just don't play in the events that 
feed the Pro Tour, and it's not, it's just not a thing I care about. Like, having top eight at a Pro Tour, like, that's all I really, once I did that, I was like, all right, cool. All right, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What we can do... Excellent other target creature or artifact until... Oh, this we can target our own guys with this. We can target our Knight of Autumn. And then recast it on something else. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to do that now, but, you know... Oh, we could have hostages the founder of the renewal. That is a, uh, that's pretty decent. They I mean, have four cards in hand. Yep, that's gonna go. Should have attacked first, but I was I I, I was actually uh Yep, that's gotta go. Yeah, you can never play in a Pro Tour again. There isn't there are no more Pro Tours. I could play in a Mythic Championship, but Am I 10,000 IQ or a brainlet? Um, I think you're somewhere in the middle. I'm just gonna play all the lands. Like, if we draw Niv Mizzet, like, we just want to be able to cast it. If they have a way to deal with Law Mage's Binding, it's pretty sad. But if they don't, like, it's just pretty strong. Why is that bushel of strawberries trying to escape? Where are you trying to go, strawberries? Only 5,000 IQ. Feels bad, man. I think you'll be alright. I think the Cat of the Republic is uh, is going to be just fine. Uh, they didn't get rid of the Pro Tour. They just renamed it. Uh, I will definitely put this guy back in my library. I have, to, I have to assume that it's better than the third card in my deck right now, so. Well, that's a good start. I just ordered four Impossible Burger sliders from White Castle to my house, and I got them for free with a special promo. God, what a time to be alive, dude. Oh my god. I'm so jealous of you right now. Impossible Burgers are like my favorite thing ever. As someone who used to really like good burgers, being able to enjoy, and as someone who doesn't eat meat anymore, like who doesn't eat red meat, Impossible Burgers are like a godsend. Why not exile their army? What do you mean? Oh, you mean them? But I don't know. Well, this was to say, if one more creature starts to be created, that many 4-4 angel tokens. Oh, they don't actually make armies anymore, do they? That's interesting. That's a sweet combo. Look at all these things that are happening. Yep, that's a lot of things. So they go block, block, they take one, two, three, four, five, they go to three, but then they gain four next turn, five, six next, three next turn, seven next turn. <sighs> I think we're dead. I mean, 
I like this deck better when we're actually able to have a sideboard. Without a sideboard, like, you're facing up all these, like, dredge or, like, enchantment strategies, and you're just like, well, I didn't main deck for this, so... You got it. It's hilarious because these are making tokens, but they just turn into angels, so they never have armies. Like, that's really pretty sweet. Yep, no blocks. Can a dude get a Niv-Mizzet one time? He cannot. A dude cannot get a Niv-Mizzet one time. We have lost. Man. We're so close. So close. I got one more in me for this deck. If you know someone you want to play with, you can challenge them here. Can I? Five guys does need impossible burgers like yesterday. Stomping Grounds actually makes this hand keepable, I think. Yeah, this, this seems fine. We just need a blue source and we're good to go. Oh, I'm not crazy. I'm just... You know. You know how it goes. You know the jam. A different side of me. We got that blue source, guys. All, our whole hand is playable now. I kind of want to kill that, but kind of not really as well. Uh, because if we kill that, what do we do? We add a land, we add a mana, we give them a mana. We add a mana. I, as a, as someone who does not eat burgers, I actually do enjoy In-N-Out. I think it's great. I get the, the grilled cheese animal style with French frizzles. So next turn, we can enter the God Eternals. Ooh-wee! I would like to enter the God Eternals. And I'll mill you for a whopping four cards. What do we hit? Tulsimir, another Tristani, and two Landos. Two Lando Calrissians. Oh, that's cool. I killed a Tristani, I milled a Tristani, and you had another Tristani. Seems good. I mean, we're just going to wipe the whole board now, right? A different side of me. I'm not crazy. I'm just... Enter the God Eternal sounds kind of bad and use it as a verb. Wow. Gods bless us in our righteous cause. What a whatever, Schmidian. Well, your best wasn't good enough, was it? That's why you're dead. Oh, interesting. Ain't that something. Ain't that a thing. <laughs> Top deck Nimizzle. Oh, that's pretty good. Mort's Thief's Gropes. Another, another three. Seems good. Um. 
Yeah, I'll come at you for six. If you want to chump, that's fine. That's what I would do on the, uh, on your attack, so. Guys, this is a, this is 22 ounces of raisins. These were all grapes before this. That's insane. That's crazy. Now I understand this deck. Bjorn, what's... <laughs> I was gonna say... Oh, I just died on a raisin. <coughs> I was gonna say what's going on, but I already said hey to you, so... Then I had nothing... I was like, what? I, I forgot what I was actually meaning to say. And then I died on a raisin, so it was a whole... It was a whole... It was a whole thing. A Johnny the Gold-Hearted. Great-Hearted. Whatever. Oh, Neg 2. Nice. Neg 2. Put a counter on those dudes. Seems good. So you can deal 9 here. We get to eat a guy, and then we kill you if you did that, so... Did they gain Vigilance? No. Oh, they, they have Vigilance. Creatures you control have it. They just get it. They just get the Vig. Okay. So what do we have? 7 total mana? I mean, we could just really do a do a little wreckeroo. So we could just attack with both these. I don't think we care about a Johnny here. Uh, let's go to the face. Yeah, this is fine. Just one. You're gonna take six, but then you die. That's fascinating. I'm pretty sure we're just playing Seraph and then not actually caring about the adrenaline. Because now we can keep up Mortify. That's good enough. Oh, we do have 8 mana. That's that's true. So theoretically we could have played Lantern and then kept up Trophy. Now do you see the benefits of peace? I don't. I still don't see the benefit of peace. Aren't you dead? This is ten float. Ten float in the air. Hmm. So we'll take six. And then we'll have six, seven, eight float in the air. And you got one removal you got one mana. Uh, I'm gonna block with hostage taker. That seems fine. I don't know what you could have for one mana, but I don't think it's anything. All right. Okay. And they did. and we did it. They probably have a concede. They did. They did have a concede. Get the vidge. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cringe, I guess. All right. All right. Yeah, I think that does it for this deck. This is the deck, and it will be listed in the description below as well in case you guys are interested. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to close out this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or questions or comments, definitely leave those in the description below. Or in the, in the comment section below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in the description to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. Uh, you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore and you will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can check out coolstuffinc.com and get 5% off your purchase with promo code frank5. So definitely check all those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.